I won't lie, walking to the car with this was a struggle. Let's see, does this feel like the middle of the wall? <laughs> I'd say so. I saw Emily Kaiser wear the pink skim sweatpants, so I bought the pink skim sweatpants. I feel like truly the trying to conceive journey is just something you can't explain until you're in it. Today's mission, we are at TJ Maxx, bright and early, it's nice and quiet. I'm looking for a big piece of wall art for the bedroom on that big blank wall. I've been looking online and they're like a thousand dollars. So I'm here and I'm at the big art section. So we're gonna go through them and see what we find. Okay, we're gonna go through. I have some Mother's Day gifts for my mom in the cart, but let's go ahead and look through the big pieces. Oh, that's pretty with the white and the taupe. We have an art piece kind of like this above the bed. So I'd like to go with something like in that vibe. This one's on sale from 200 to 100. I mean, even 200, way better than what I've seen online. Little color, this is cool. It's not big enough, but it's like textured. Okay, you guys, I'm obsessed with this one. This looks so good. 150, like I saw stuff like this online for literally a thousand that looked like this. I don't know if it translates on camera, but it's huge. I think it would fit like perfectly. I love the color. I like the like black frame with the little gold edge and i like how it's textured it's really pretty yeah this feels like exactly what i want so let's go hang it up and see how it looks oh my gosh we did it i won't lie walking to the car with this was a struggle all right back home i also did grab two more candles um because it's about that time you guys know i love the sensational brand because they have coconut and beeswax the peony smells so good. Peonies are my favorite flowers. Such a good smell. I was like, ooh, smell it. You couldn't, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then I got this massive one here. This big one was, how much? $30 and it's huge. I wanted a massive one for the living room and I don't like love the smell. <laughs> I'm hoping it will grow on me. It was the only really big one they had and I liked the look. It doesn't smell horrible by any means. It's just not like my favorite kind of smell, but um, I love the way it looks. Trader Joe flowers are still going strong. Here is the artwork in the house. There's a little bit of rain on it, so that will dry, but so cute. I can't wait to hang it up. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Are you excited? Are you excited? Tails wagon, you like the art? A few moments later. Yar is not home, and if it's not obvious, I can't wait for him because I have no chill. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on myself. Um, <laughs> this thing is, huge but i think it's gonna be perfect you guys this is what happens when i hang stuff ballpark i'm a big ballpark girl <laughs> i do have a level i do have a level so don't even fret am i worried about drywall anchors and stuff no let's see does this feel like the middle of the wall <laughs> i'd say so Yara's gonna get home and be like, why couldn't you just wait for me? And I'm just gonna be like, babe, it looks so good though. Okay, Ooh. okay. Oh my God, this looks so good. All right, let's check the level. Okay, tell me how it's perfectly straight. I'm a wizard. <laughs> what do you think? Boom, gorge, boom. Gorge! I don't know, I feel like nothing ever translates on camera, but that's like exactly the vibe. And then we have, I might change the picture that's over the bed. I've been kind of wanting to put more like a cozy one, like a gold frame and some sort of like painting. But for now, I know that this, this is perfect. Wow, it doesn't translate on camera. It like actually is like the perfect size because I didn't even know if it would be big enough, but it is. All right, you guys, I took off the little cardboard pieces on the edge. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's crazy how I just feel like I got such a good deal for this when it was just so much online. Like I was looking at all types of online stores and they were just so much. And this looks like the same. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? What do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am kind of glued to the computer all day today doing some calls for my project. Uh, so super, super busy the rest of the day. I'm glad I got out this morning and got um, that painting. I went in for my mom's Mother's Day gifts. Um, and I was also like, I'm gonna look for the wall art. Just cause like every time I go to those kind of stores, I look and the wall art's never big enough. I still can't get over how massive it is and just like 
fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm just drinking this water. I put one pack of the Starburst sugar-free drink mix. I'm telling you, it actually does taste a lot better like putting a packet in way more water than it recommends. It's way more subtle. Normally it's just like way too sweet. Oh my God, side note guys, I started watching the new Love is Blind season. I am plowing through and I am obsessed. And I'm also like, girl, that mean girl. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but what the heck. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, it is four o'clock. I have one more call at six. I'm so tired, <laughs> um, but all the calls have been great. So good vibes. Um, I just got a small package from Skims. I bought some more sleep shirts because unfortunately I have destroyed a few of my Skims tanks <laughs> because the Panoxyl has bleach. And if I let the water from when I've washed my face splash on, I have like bleach stains all over. It was, it was sad. Cause I love my skims to sleep in, but they are expensive. So I was real, I was gutted. I kept them. I'm still gonna sleep in them, but like we're gonna slowly <laughs> replace. So these are ones that I really like right now. I'm a soft lounge girl when it comes to like sleeping in skims, but I really like these with the little logo along the hem. Um, they're just like basic tanks. Size up in skims. Size up. Sometimes I don't want things super duper tight. A lot of the stuff I have in skims is a 2X or a 3X. This is a 3X. Like you could go to Target and this would be an extra large. So size up. But how cute is this lime green? And then I also grabbed one in gray and black. The same ones with the cute little logo along the hem and i have one of these in white thankfully the white can't get bleached it's white and what had originally drawn me in was this cute little set here it has little roses the thing with skims is the quality is just so soft and like i don't know i think i said before when i'm wearing this yar touches and he's like that skims right and i'm like yeah I'm like you can tell this is actually the skims henley one of these also got bleached Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But hey, we've still got one. So I got this really cute one. This one actually seems to run more TTS, true to size. Um, so I got the 3X in this one and it looks much bigger than the other ones, but still comfortable, I'm gonna keep it. And then I got the bottoms in a 2X and these also appear to run bigger. So you just never know, because these 2X look a lot bigger than my other 2X Skims boxers. So. Maybe they're trying to fix their sizing to be more true. And then I saw Emily Kaiser wear these, so I bought them. Had a full on Mean Girls moment of, I saw Emily Kaiser wear the pink skim sweatpants, so I bought the pink skim sweatpants. But like, these are so cute. I don't have anything like this. These pink joggers, these also run true to size slash big. These are extra large, but a lot of my joggers now are an extra large, like my old navy ones. I love, this color, am I sweating? No, surprising. <laughs> they're like kind of a light fleece. Like they're not the kind of fleece where it's like hot inside. It's like terry inside. Um, they're so cute. So grab these, love a wide leg sweat right now. And that's all I got from Skims. And then I just grabbed one other workout tank from Abercrombie. Um, Cause I bought that one I recently showed you guys and I'm obsessed. I'm definitely gonna wear this to the gym tomorrow. Bruno and the reflection just scared the crap out of me. You scared me. He's just looking at me like, girl. But look at this gorgeous chocolate brown workout top. It's got like seams right here, really cute. And it's not a crop, it was like waist length. So it will come down a little bit lower. I'm gonna wear this to the gym tomorrow and I'll show you guys. But the YPB line from Abercrombie, it's their workout line. I am obsessed. Like the fabrics are, we're just here for like delicious fabrics that just feel good when you put them on. So there's my little haul of the day. Um, I'm gonna watch some Love is Blind now before my next call in a little less than two hours, so bye. Okay, I'm back. So it's been a few hours. Um, my last call is actually at 6.30. I thought it was at six, so it's 6.15. I'm gonna hop on that call soon, but I've been watching Love is Blind for the last like hour and a half, and it just makes me so sad. I feel like this happens on every season where like parents aren't supportive or like the families just about like the whole experiment and like especially when they get engaged it's just like so confusing to me i i mean i just feel like as a parent it's just your job to like be supportive you know even if like you don't get it 
and that goes with like all things not th not just this because i know this is like super you know intense and different but i just like it makes me so sad when people aren't supportive especially when they don't even like give them a chance to like meet the couples or like meet the fiance you know it's like just give it like a chance don't just like shut them out entirely you're just gonna like cause your kids to like resent you you know what i mean and i just feel like that's one of the biggest things when it comes to like parenting and something i really look forward to like being how my mom was when she raised me and just being like so like just supportive like <laughs> just so supportive and so understanding and i always felt like i could go to her for things and i never felt like she was gonna judge me or i don't know be overly critical so i just feel like that's so important with parenting i don't know it just makes me sad like every season there's always families that are just like they will not go to the wedding we don't support this like it's just like are you really gonna detach your child from your life because you don't like this like that just seems so crazy to me i don't know anyway <laughs> food for thought i am going to hop on this call and then we're gonna take off our makeup i can't wait i've been wanting to take it off for like an hour now and i'm just like one more call because it's a zoom call so i just feel like i need to have my face on tomorrow good morning you guys oh uh, god i just can't with the breakouts but trying not to let it bother me because it's like what in the grand scheme of life does it matter but it definitely means aunt Flo is coming in like a day or two and i'm a little down because i just had a negative pregnancy test so i just feel Honestly, I just want to like crawl in a hole and do nothing today now, but you know, have to keep going, have to keep pushing. It's really rough just like every month you really just make yourself believe that you're pregnant. <laughs> um, it's just crazy how like powerful the mind is. I'm going to wash my hair after the gym, so we're going to... So look it back. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm a little sad today. Um, just trying to stay positive and you know, whatever happens, happens. This was, you know, this was our sixth cycle trying. I don't know why it just feels like a little weird, you know, and stressful hitting that like half year mark. And I hope this doesn't sound like insensitive to anyone or anyone trying or anyone who's been trying longer. I know like, I can't imagine, like it's just, it's a lot. It's really a lot. I feel like truly the trying to conceive journey is just something you can't explain until you're in it. And like when you want it so bad. And then like, you know, now I'm starting to think like, well, we've been, we're halfway to, you know, the year. If we get to the year, like what options are we gonna explore? Cause obviously we'll do, you know what we need to do to hopefully get our baby and even just thinking about that makes me feel sick and it's all just a lot and i'm just i'm very grateful that yarman is so supportive and wonderful and just like the best husband i could ask for especially in this process um and so loving and kind but i mean i'll just stay hopeful i know it could happen in these next six months but it's hard to kind of not you know get in the headspace of like it probably won't and we're gonna have to do this or that you know so it's trying to stay positive and not overthink like you know worst case scenarios but easier said than done you know but it's a gym day i gotta go to the gym you know as much as i really don't want to right now i know if i go i'll feel so much better after and i'm just gonna like stay focused on this special project that I'm filming in a few months and put all my effort into that and try not to think too much about the baby stuff, but it's hard when you want it so bad. And I know a lot of people can relate to that. But yeah, Aunt Flo is coming. <laughs> These breakouts are brutal. And I really wanna go to the dermatologist, <laughs> but I know there's not a whole lot of option when you are trying to get pregnant because I would love to get back on that tretinoin cream. <laughs> Anyway, um, oh, let's get ready to go to the gym. Sorry, this is a bummer. Okay, you guys, here is that new Abercrombie top. It, I'm telling you, oh, damn it, I got deodorant. Again, I hate that. Gotta put deodorant on after you put on your workout tank. Um, butter, butter, like stretchy, like just feels so good. 
I love like the seams in the front. Um, the support is like the perfect level. I'm here for Abercrombie's workout line. I'm shocked, honestly. Like the XXL has lots of room, um, but I still like that it's not like too tight. I definitely would not bother with the XL. I like how it's, you know, got wiggle room. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna link this. It's so good, so good. And I like that it's waist length, so I can kind of scrunch it a little, but the crops would like sit here. So, yay. One piece of good news. And then we got our pretty art in the background. And like real talk at this point, I'm about to give up caffeine entirely. I might just like try that for a month. Cause like, although I've cut down to 200 milligrams or less, which is what's recommended, maybe I should just try giving up caffeine entirely. I've been doing some research and I saw some people say they gave it up and got pregnant right away. Maybe that would help, don't know, so. We'll see. Wow, look at that model. Are you a model? Can I sign you? Are you signed with IMG? Oh my gosh, Tyra Banks. Somebody called a queen to sign you. Cause you're beautiful. Cause you're beautiful. You're the most beautiful in the world. Look at that boy. I mean, come on, have you seen a cuter face? Many hours later. Hey guys, long time no see. Um, the last clip I think I took was when my mom came over with Cha Cha. So cute. I don't know why I've been doing that accent a lot lately, but I took a shower and I'm letting my hair air dry and I'm currently folding some laundry, watching some YouTube. Gotta put those on hangers. And I'm gonna do some heatless curls for the next few hours while we're chilling before bed. Um, I got a different set on Amazon because you know it's like a tube. This one's flat on top. So like it won't kind of stick up. So I'm excited to try that. Today was like pretty chill. I went to the gym and honestly, the days where I'm not vlogging a lot, I'm just on the computer. You guys will see in a few months what I have planned. Um, but bear with me because it's taking up a lot of time right now. Gosh, oh God, between the headband and the pimples. I really just be the most vulnerable with you guys. <laughs> you and Yarmin just see it all, don't you? But you know what? It doesn't matter. Still obsessed with this wall art, like hello, so fun. But it was good to hang out with the dogs today, going to the gym, like it's just, it's really helped me with my funk. And like, it doesn't help too <laughs> when you're trying to get pregnant and then you get your period. Not only are you upset you have your period, but then it's like the usual hormones that come when you get your period of like PMS. So it's, it's like just a double whammy of shit. <laughs> Somehow we just find the strength to keep going and be positive, you know? I think I want to go more intense with the curtain bangs next time. I don't know, should I? Or should I just keep it calm where I can still tuck it and stuff? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to just put this laundry away and then we will try the new heatless curl set that I got and see if it actually makes a difference. Okay, let's try my other heatless curls kit that I just got. So obviously it's from Amazon. I'll link it below. First time opening it. So as you can see, flat on top, because the other one is always like this. <laughs> so I like um, I like the concept. My hair is like 98% dry, but it still has like that eensy weensy bit of dampness. It's the best hack for heatless curls if you don't like sleeping in them. You just wear them when your hair is like almost fully dry. Wear them for like two hours, an hour. So it comes with two scrunchies and then two clips. I like that it all matches. These actually feel like pretty good quality too. It comes with this here and then these little clips so you can clip it in place and it won't move. <laughs> the things we do, you know, what are men doing? <laughs> Certainly not <laughs> this. <laughs> I like want to learn how some people do like every other <laughs> but not today today's been enough of an emotional roller coaster <laughs> where i just need to do what works for me but so far it's way better with this way better so pretty seamless i will say the ends can get funky especially if you have like layers or angles so just do the best you can like we've got a little sticking out but that's fine i'm gonna take out this clip here Oh my gosh, that was so much better. This kit is life-changingly better. I don't even think I need this side in now that I have one side done. Okay. 
okay, overall very happy with this kit. I think it's a lot better having this flat as I've said you know, a million times now. But I'm gonna leave these in until right before bed just cause I can't sleep in them. They don't last in my kind of sleep. And then they always just fall out. And it's hard for me to sleep with stuff in my hair. I just like have a really hard time with it. So I'll check back in with you guys before bed and we'll see how they look. A few moments later. Okay, it's been a few hours. I'm heading to bed soon. Let's see the situation. God, I'm so tired. Ooh, yeah. Since these are made of like a terry cloth, I feel like they hold a little better than the silky ones. See, it doesn't take much when your hair is a little eensy weensy bit damp. Oh, all right. Let's give it a good shake. It's of course like not perfect, but pretty good. Nothing that can't be touched up in the morning. I'm gonna give it a spritz with the new Color Wow hairspray that I bought during the sale. But that kit, so much better. Definitely uh, give it a try. This is definitely gonna be the one that I use from now on and I'm gonna keep it in this handy dandy box. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I have something else that I'm gonna film for a different vlog tomorrow. So I love you, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.